Good evening. Hope you had a wonderful Saturday in the Lord. You here in the background, happy. Cheryl Williams having a block club party. We wanted to take a break and um, just know that you are joyful in the Lord. And guess what? This bliss never ends. That's true happiness. We're in Deuteronomy 6. And I tell you, these are familiar scriptures as far as ensuring the health, the happiness, the joy of the Lord forever and so that your descendants, your offsprings will enjoy the great benefits. Say hello. Bye. Well, it says in verse 5, Deuteronomy 6, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul. It's all about the soul. So why art thou cast down? It better not be cast down because you're happy in the Lord. When you love the Lord with all thy soul, with all thy might, and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. you got to store this treasure deep down. Guard our heart. Keep it with all diligence once we get it. And when we have it, when it is protected deep down, then we shall diligently teach it to the next generation so that they will be able to experience true abundant living. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. This is verse 7. And shall talk of them, these teachings, when thou, what, sittest in thy house, when you're just chilling out, in the dining room, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, and when thou walkest by the way, in the neighborhood, just strolling around, in the evening walk, and when thou liest down, when you're about to put them to bed, or when you're all saying good night, and when thou risest up. You're still talking about the faithfulness and the teachings of the Lord. And we should bind them closely uh, to our heart and to um, our eyes like frontlets. And in the youth version, this says, Deuteronomy 6, 8 says, Write them down and tie them around your wrist and wear them as headbands as a reminder. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Just know that you're not supposed to be ashamed of the goodness of God and the teachings and the instruction. For how should we know? There's a scripture in Psalms where it says, Come, children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. That's what this generation needs, right? God wants us to enjoy great things, but he also wants us to pass the, the, the banner, right? to them so that they can run diligently. And it says in verse 11, And houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not, and wells dig, which thou diggest not, vineyards, and olive trees, which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. Then, then beware, lest thou forget the Lord. Be careful. Let's not put him in the back burner. But we shall, verse 13, Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him. Amen. He should be the priority. And ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God, his testimonies, his statutes. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord. And there goes that wellness word. It shall be well with thee. I was reading the magazine Psychology Today. And it was talking about how more possessions do not equal happiness, right, and peace. And they said that almost um, a research study says that when you make 75,000 it's like that's you, you top out there and anything above that any type of attainment that you get does not um, get any type of satisfaction I don't know why but um, it's in this uh, August um, 2019 psychology today but we know that the true wellness the true health the true satisfaction is when we do which is right in the sight of the Lord we please him and he is our constant amen confidant and friend and he will make our way prosperous right that ye may live and it will be well with you and then that will be true prolonging those days that's the true quality and the quantity of life amen I know all of us want that well I hope you have a wonderful evening enjoying the goodness of the Lord I know you all hopefully have beautiful weather where you are and um just be faithful in serving our God and give him all the glory due. Have a good night.